am Alyssa Kennedy. I'm a sophomore from Bryan High School. <laughs> Thank you. And my poem is called Contrary to Popular Belief. Contrary to popular belief, that quiet boy does not make your world spin. That girl with those hips that move to the rhythm isn't perfectly in time with the beat. The boy with those mysterious eyes that your inner poet wants to describe as, hmm, say, dark gingerbread caramel cappuccino with maybe a little hint of nutmeg, <laughs> he is not your shining star. But of course, that's contrary to popular belief. Us poets, as a figurehead to the human race, like playing with relationship culture. We like ogling and exaggerating perfection. We snuff out flaws and turn cold shoulders to severed heartstrings. We can romanticize things from the moon to bottom feeders and everything in between. Because people want to hear beauty, and beauty is what our souls breathe. Poets are masters of deception. We are wizards of disguise. Our pens bleed utopias upon pages that we know will never survive. We grovel in our pasts and dwell on our futures, painting pictures of roses in the minds of anyone willing to listen. Though with every image comes a pinprick of despair. Somehow they always want more. But contrary to popular belief, that girl's smile is not your son. That boy's heartbeat won't save your ticking clock. That girl with the radiating warmth won't melt your ice-enveloped soul. Because despite how us poets like to hide it, they are not your everything. But we can write our poems. We can spew fairy tales any direction we please. We can keep baking up lies for your sweet tooth just so you can survive. Because sometimes, even we need that single earth-shattering, mind-blowing, universal earthquake of a poem for eons to come. Because sometimes, even we need to taste that false perfection. So we make them our everything. Whoa!